Hey, what's up guys? This is Zach at Dream Media Home Theater and today we are going to be turning this war zone into a real home theater. You can see, as of right now, there's a whole lot going on in here. The customer has you know, tried to start some of these uh, task on his own and you know finally decided to call on the pros so what we're going to be doing today is getting our foundation in place for the home theater system you can see we have marked out here on the floor all of our floor plugs for our seating so he's going to have five seats in each row the framing's already been done through the riser we're going to have two rows of seating a total of 10 seats first row here second row here we're also going to be putting in step lights for the steps to ensure that the customer can see whenever the theater is dark. One change that we're going to be doing on lighting is there's going to be three sets of sconces here on each side. And we're going to be putting the wiring in for that as well. Overhead, um, he's going to keep the cans, remove this light right here in the middle, and then we're going to do rope lights all the way around in uh, the crown which will add a nice visual appearance to the system uh, overall. Now, as far as our AV system goes, the configuration that we're going to be running is a 7.2.4, meaning front left, front right, center speaker, and then surround left and right, right here at ear level, and then rear left and right at ear level. All of our equipment is going to be terminating here and a 42U rack, and we're doing AV separates. I'm gonna be using Yamaha, and then uh, Sony projection, the 695. And right here, he's gonna be putting in a little bit, a uh, little wet bar area where he can put his uh, movies and everything like that. This is gonna be framed out to where, that we're gonna put the rear right speaker in the wall, and then the rear left speaker. Subwoofers will be in the two corners of the room. We're going to use two 15 inch subs, front right and rear left. And then overhead for the Atmos, we're going to be putting in four so that each row experiences Atmos to its fullest. So we're going to have overhead here, overhead here, and then overhead here and overhead here. So those will be our four Atmos speakers. We're going to do a one button press touchscreen remote that makes everything extremely easy to operate and automates all of the lighting right into the system. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the wiring today and we'll update you guys as the installation progresses. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so everything in red um, is what's going to be permanent and anything else in this room is going to be patched. So you can see even uh, we, we went above and beyond to make sure that this customer is future proofed. We got some cat cable here, ran in case they want to do like a screen innovation zero edge screen. On this project, we're not doing it, but it never hurts to have ethernet in front of the room. And we even had that bypassing and heading all the way back to where the switches are in case they want to do uh, a switch that does require a hardwired ethernet connection. And then we're going to be putting in power here as well. And then over here, our front right, and our subwoofer. We're gonna be putting power right there because we wanna make sure that there's no wires showing. We have RG6 coax in place. So we make our way around the room, you can see all of these red holes right here. We ran Romax to, and we're gonna tie that into an independent switch that is network enabled. So through the universal remote customer, we'll have the ability to control all of these sconces. And I'm gonna have my construction guys put in pillars so that it gives a really nice visual appearance to the room. Surround left and right are right here at ear level, which will give us optimal performance. And then in the rear of the room, we have our rears, which are right at ear level. I took the specifications of the seats that the customer chose, and I went off of that to make sure that that tweeter is firing straight into their ear. And if you notice over here, we also have the subwoofer termination for our second sub and our rear right. I kind of got it written out for my guys so that they know exactly where I want the speaker whenever they do go to do the built-in here. I even left a cutout template and the line which will be pulled right up to here, insert into the wood. 
So that's all of our main surrounds. Now, this is an Atmos system. So we did four overhead in ceilings. And those are lined up right in line with our first row and our second row. Everything's pre-wired and cut to size, so whenever we come back, we just pop them right in and you know start to do the fun stuff. Um, we also put in two 4K HDMI cables, 18 gigabit per second, 4x4x4, by four by four, to make sure we're maximizing the video resolution. We're going to be using a Sony 695 on this project. And then there's an outlet up there as well. If you look over here, uh, we also have lighting power and ethernet. We're going to be integrating in a RGB light strip around the whole perimeter with uh, trim to give a, a nice little glow to the ceiling. And uh, we also are gonna be doing some electrical lighting and plugs down here on the floor for the seating. So we just line these up right underneath the seats. There's gonna be five per row, but this will just make it so they can plug right in. And then step lights. This is a pretty deep drop off here, so we want to make sure that the customer is safe and when they have guests over they don't trip and fall. So we're going to be putting in four step lights there and another four step lights over here. Which we still got to put a couple boxes on that, but we'll be back uh, to put those in tomorrow or the electrician will. Everything is terminating over here in this closet and you can see Every single wire is coming through this one double gang. We're going to put in a dedicated circuit which will go here for the theater room to ensure that the rack has plenty of amperage. And here is the, the rack dimensions which my construction guys are going to use to build this cutout to spec. And I even put up here on the wall exactly the height of the rack. We're using a 42U. Um, all of the wiring is going to be routed into these switches. We're going to have three separate switches. One is going to be for sconces, one is going to be for the step lights, and the other is going to be for cans. And then through the remote, he'll also have the ability to control the RGB strip and the ceiling. This is going to be a pretty cool little project. We're, we're coming right along, wiring's in place, now we get to start putting some of the fun stuff in uh, carpet, drywall repair. Uh, columns, it, it's all going to come together really nicely. Once we do get into that phase where we're back and popping our speakers in, we'll upload a video to show you guys how that looks. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah.